All right, so this video is going to show you how to set up Foxy Proxy um, and how to log in and set up your cluster to enable you to use a Zeppelin notebook. And this is the part that can be a bit confusing and I even got a little stuck on this and it took a little while for me to figure it out. So first we're gonna set up Foxy Proxy and get that working. And I'm using Firefox, although I've also gotten it to work very easily on Chrome. And I don't know if it works on Safari and I guarantee you it doesn't work on Edge because nothing works on Edge. I'm sorry, Microsoft, but it's true. Um, and then after that, we're gonna do some security group changes and then you're gonna start your first Zeppelin notebook. So I am on a Firefox browser and I just type in Foxy Proxy, probably mis misspell it because I misspell everything. And so I'm gonna go ahead and download Foxy Proxy Standard, which is an extension or an add-on to your web browser and it should be free. I think there are paid versions, but I'm not quite sure what they do. So I go ahead and I add it, and then I go ahead and I click OK. So the newest version of Pro Foxy Proxy, at least for Firefox, is version 6, and they no longer take XML files, and they expect your file to be in JSON format. Amazon, on their instruction page, do not give you a Foxy Proxy JSON template to use. Um, however, in a link below, you'll see that there is a GitHub page which has mapped the XML file to the JSON file. So I simply downloaded that and that is in my downloads and that is the file I go ahead and use here when I am uploading uh, a setting to use for Foxy Proxy. And this is the Amazon Elastic MapReduce Foxy Proxy settings. And this JSON issue only happened in Firefox. With Chrome, you could still go ahead and use the XML files. So I'm going to tell Foxy Proxy to use the default patterns. So now back on the Amazon cluster, I need to do one more thing to fully enable web connections. And this is the part that it isn't always easy to find instructions for how to do. So you can see in the right hand side that there is a security group for your master and a security group for core and task instances. So when you enable a web connection, you do that connection through the master node. But the problem is that you have to SSH in order to do this. And by default, the security group for your master node does not allow SSH connections from the IP address that you are currently using, or at least it didn't for me. So what I have to do is I have to go to security group for my master node, and that's where I am right now. And on the bottom, you'll see um, inbound rules, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a new inbound rule, as you'll see me do right here. So I click edit, I am gonna go and click add rule. And I'm going to make this rule an SSH rule, and it by default is TCP and port 22, which is fine. And then I'm going to make it custom. And for the IP address, I need to know what my IP address currently is. And so I usually just Google what's my IP, and it'll show it right there. And so I'm going to keep the first three digits, um, and then... I'm going to use that and follow it by two zeros and then a forward slash 16. There is a meaning behind all this. You don't have to pay. You don't have to know what it is if you don't want to. But it's basically just saying anything that has those first three digits, I am going to allow SSH connections from. And this is because oftentimes when you're using Wi-Fi, sometimes those last, the last sets of three digits each will sometimes change every time you log back in. And I just don't want to have to deal with making a new rule every time. After that, I go back to my Amazon web and am now almost ready. And you can see that the cluster is now running. And then to enable web connections, I go ahead and use this SSH thing. And then that bottom step with Foxy Proxy was the one that we already did. And so here I am going to open up a terminal in Mac and they give you instructions there how to do it and just issue the command that they've given you. But it is important to note that that little squiggly sign forward slash LJ or Miria is my key and you need to change the path of um, the path of that part to be wherever your key is. And so for me, I put it in my .ssh folder under my home directory on my Mac. Now, you know this is working because after you've enabled Foxy Proxy, all of those links have now turned blue and that means that you can use them as web connections. Hooray! And so you can see I can now get onto a Zeppelin notebook, which is what I'm going to do next is go and click 
Zeppelin. So now you have a Zeppelin notebook and you can do what you want. Um, so here's your Zeppelin notebook. I'm going to go ahead and keep my interpreter as Spark and then I'm going to use this percent sign PySpark to tell the Spark interpreter that I'm using Python. I have tried using the PySpark interpreter directly and just had a little bit of trouble getting it to work. Um, I'm sure I was just doing something wrong um, in some of my imports or something, but this is what worked best for me. And so here is the Twitter migration code that I gave you previously, and I literally just copy pasted into here, making sure that the paths were correctly pointed to the Amazon S3 buckets and not to any local files. And once you're ready, you just click run and you let it go. Um, unfortunately, the progress bar, once it once it starts running does not really update it kind of goes from zero to 100 percent and it took a fair a few hours for it to complete and so this is where i use ganglia which again is just another web connection next to that spark link and you can use that to sort of see if your cluster is working if there are any nodes that are dead it doesn't really help exactly tell you what's going on um but if you know that your code maybe has a lot of imports and then a lot of exports or a lot of reads and a lot of writes you can kind of see what's going on based on where all the network traffic is right now so here is the Spark cluster up and running and everything is working.